You have gone on a journey. You have touched, you have tasted, you have seen, and you have heard. You have loved and lost and loved again. You have learned, you have grown, you have arrived at your destination. You hold that key, but you cannot see it. It is not a thing, it is not a way, it is a mystery. Allow yourself to review the places you have gone, remembering the touch of flesh to earth, the flow of movement and power, the song of love in your heart, the memories imprinted in your mind. Who is it that remembers? Who has traveled on this journey? Is it your body? Then what has guided you? What is it that has grown? All wisdom is within you. Nothing is beyond you. The kingdom is before you, within you, around you. It is in your mind, which is but one mind in a sea of many, connected, contained, intelligent, divine. From whence do our thoughts arise? Where do they go when they rest? And who is it that perceives them? Deep within ourselves, we find a place to open up our mind. Through starry heavens ever climbing, matters solid, threads unbinding. Out beyond far heaven's veil, the Father rules the starlit trail. In patterns bright, perceived by sight, our thoughts turn over day through night. Through our thinking, ever linking, winding, weaving, wisdom's webs, ancient patterns, flows, and ebbs. Auspicious Shiva, Lord of Sleep, your meditations bring us deep to ancient wisdom found within a sacred place where we begin and ending here we shall return reconnected we have learned to know divinity inside and bring it forth with honored pride the key within our minds we hold to mysteries we shall unfold. Gateway to the worlds beyond, in the sacred space and peace we bond. The crown chakra is the seventh chakra and it is at the top of the chakra ladder. This connects us with the universe and the divine source of creation. This is also experienced through the element of thought because each level of the chakras bring us new degrees of freedom and awareness. This is the chakra of humanity. Here, we will realize we are all in this together and all of our souls are here to learn what it feels like to be in the human body. Those who cannot connect with others or do not have an open mind usually suffer from issues related to empathy on a worldly scale or are very judgmental towards belief and spirituality. The key terms that surround the chakra will be consciousness, thought, understanding, knowing, and meditation. When we realize everything is interconnected and that we are part of the larger scheme of life, 
we begin to live with gratitude, faith, and trust rather than filled with fear and anxiety. People must not mistake that the personal spiritual connection of the seven chakra with religion. Religion is rooted in group followings, suggesting that like in numbers we are safe. Whereas spirituality is an individual experience directed towards releasing fears of the physical world and relating to the divine and knowing that the divine is in all of us. The seventh chakra is both a receiver and giver of energy and consciousness. Your consciousness is your awareness of yourself and the world around you. This awareness is subjective and unique to you. And if you can describe something that you are experiencing in words, then this is a part of your consciousness. According to Freud, thoughts and emotions outside of our awareness will continue to influence our behaviors even though we are unaware of these underlying influences. The unconsciousness can include repressed feelings, hidden memories, thoughts, desires, reactions, and emotions that are just too painful to deal with, along with embarrassment, shame. This is all stored in our unconscious mind. You heal the unconscious mind by identifying the roots of the problem. This is why therapy, group support, and Reiki healing are beneficial because You can safely identify the root issues without fear of the other person's judgment. I also like to use dream analysis to examine my unconscious mind because I believe we can learn from our dreams. Our belief systems are developed from many experiences from our lives. For example, if someone repeatedly fails and they have people who believe they are failures, on top of that, this person believes they are a failure and that they are stupid, eventually this person will develop beliefs surrounded by stupidity and be in their own demise. This is why we choose people who inspire us, encourage us, love on us, because birds of a feather flock together. Misery loves company. And this is why we have to have personal power, which is not allowing anyone or anything to take it from you. And if they do, you take it right back. You ground yourself, you love on yourself, you practice a ton of self-care because this is your life. So you get to choose how to live your life and it takes to dive into your willpower. Successful people maintain their success because they believe in themselves. We hear it all the time. How did you become successful? And most likely their answer is motivation. Being self-motivated is so important because if you are going against the odds, most likely you're not going to have the support you would expect from your family, your friends, and your peers. So you have to rely on yourself and trust your intuition. Because motivation drives you out of bed. It it takes you to school. It drives you to accomplish things and your goals. Again, what you focus on will grow. And if your awareness is solely focused on things that make you sad, then nothing is going to change because unfortunately, you will still be sad. So we have to make the choice to heal and slow down in a world that intentionally preoccupies our minds to overwhelm the truth. The truth is 
there is a spiritual warfare that is taking place and does not want us to be at peace with ourselves. Think of all the people who benefit from our pain and insecurities. This explains the reason why depression and anxiety and suicide rates are so high because so many people are unhappy with themselves and their lives. The more people who can connect with the power of this chakra, the more it will shift our collective consciousness on a massive scale towards a more holistic understanding of health, disease, biodiversity, and humanity as a whole. It is our job to find peace in the midst of this chaos, but that's okay because you are a warrior. And if you made it to this point in my video, you are strong and you have purpose and things are worse before they get better. So learn the lesson and move on so you can find peace in your heart. The challenge of the chakra is to liberate the spirit, open up to the divine, and at the same time, stay firmly rooted deep in the ground. This requires being grounded and keeping an open heart and an open mind. When we reach this level, the seed of our soul has sprouted from its roots in the earth and has grown upward through the elements of water, fire, air, sound, and light, and now is to the source of all. The chakra is the master processor of all awareness, and no matter how much anyone tries to explain it, the truth of the matter is it can only be experienced to be truly understood. Don't let this life drive you crazy. In the words of Beyonce, understand the truth about that question in your soul. Look up, don't look down, and then watch the answers unfold. Life is your birthright. They hid that in the fine print. Take the pen and rewrite it. Step out your estimate, step in your essence, and know that you're excellent. Rise, the spirit is teaching. I'm not just preaching, I'm taking my own advice. Here are some affirmations for the crown chakra. I seek to understand and to learn from my life experiences. I listen to the wisdom of the universe. I am part of the divine. I honor the divine within me. I seek experiences that nourish my spirit. I am open to letting go of my attachments. I live in the present moment. I am grateful for the goodness in my life. My life moves with grace. I am at peace. Hey everyone, if you had made it to the end of my video, I would like to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate everyone that has been interested in hearing what I have to say. And I deeply appreciate that because this is just the beginning. And I just wanna let you guys know a reminder, all of the information that I have been getting about chakras comes from this book by Anadea Judith. I love this book. There's so much information. She put a lot of research into making this book. So if you haven't bought this book, this is the one that I highly recommend. 
Um, with that being said, the crown chakra was more challenging, I guess, for me to um, make because, you know, I feel like it's a little more personal um, just because you're trying to tell people like, hey, you have to believe in the higher spirit. The higher spirit is known to be God, the um, Holy Spirit, Jesus, Buddha, whatever the higher spirit is. The way we break it down is energetically, it's the energy that they carry. And I think talking about it was just kind of challenging because I know that not everybody believes in God and not everybody believes in the higher power. Um, and to be honest, when I was 16, I stopped believing in God. Unfortunately, I, I was going through so many changes and I didn't feel loved. I didn't feel like anyone cared about me. I was just really depressed at that age and I stopped believing. With that being said, I had a friend who, you know, would take me to church every week for a whole year, well, twice a week for a whole year. And I became a believer again. And the reason why I became a believer was because I felt so much love going to the church and, you know, from her family. So I had a lot of, um, I always cherished that friendship because I was like, I was in a dark place in my life. And it's like, now I couldn't even like imagine not believing in God because I know what I have survived. I know the pain that I have overcome in my life. And God has made so many miracles happen in my life, around me. And I will tell you this, that it's not clear as day. It's not gonna be pretty. It takes like, sometimes you have to get broken down to number one, keep you humbled. But number two, so you can build yourself back up. I guess the people I wanna reach out to are people who have had hard times um, and have had a challenging life. I know that a lot of people, growing up, people used to think, oh, you don't have any problems. You always seem to have it together because I was a happy kid for the most part. I mean, I did go through like an emo stage where I wore all black, couldn't wear any other colors but black, thick eyeliner. Yeah, thank the Lord times have changed. Um, but people like would be like, oh, well, you just, you got it together. And I'm like, trust me, I don't always have it together. And I thank God for the friends that I have, the people that I fall back on. Um, for a while, it was pretty lonely. And I think once I got comfortable being alone, I was able to actually appreciate the people that were in my life. And that's a part of the lesson. That's a part of the journey. So, you know, making this video, talking about God, talking about the higher power, your connection, it's all on your time and it has to be experienced to be understood. And that's pretty much it. I'm not here to convince you that God is real, but you know, I know that there's people that go through so many like really challenging times in this world and they can still smile. And I think that is a blessing that God or the higher power has put on that individual's heart, that individual's life. So whatever you're going through, just remember that you are giving the gifts, you, you have the gift of life. Your heart is beating, you are breathing, because you are loved and you have to believe that. I can't convince you. I can only show you, I can tell you. I can lead the horse to water, but I cannot make you drink the water. You have to do the groundwork. You have to want it for yourself because this is your life. So if you have watched every single chakra video I have posted, 
Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate it. I know who my biggest fans are. I know the people who have been supporting me. I know the people that reach out to me and I love it and I thank you. Again, I'm going to start making <clears throat> guided meditation videos on things to help us move forward in life. I know that some of us may feel a little stagnant and it's totally understandable, totally. I know some of us may feel a little stagnant right now, um, but that is okay. I think we needed to slow down. I think we needed a sudden realization that life is too short and you have to enjoy every minute that you're giving because life can be so beautiful and maybe not in this moment, but when you start to look for the beautiful things of life, you will ultimately change your perspective and you do have that power. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Blooming with Ayana. I love you guys so much. And if you have made it to this point in my video, you are a part of my tribe. You are a bloomer and my tribe is going to flourish. <laughs> I get so excited when I think about it. So thank you guys. I'll see you in my guided meditation videos to come. I'll talk to you later. Namaste. Bye. Bottom and we made it out the struggle. Do this shit for my mom and my older sister, little brother. If we got us a problem, we call up doing a heat of muscle. Different day, different problem, and every day's another hustle. Everybody said they need me, then deceive me. I done lost some of my family, cause they get greedy. If this shit was really easy, then you would be me. Niggas shouldn't never try this shit we do on TV.